So invitation to treat is not an offer. What's something else? Well, look, a lot of times when we're in business and we're making a deal, particularly large deals, not so much buying or selling a cup of coffee, but we're buying land, we're buying a big machine, we're making a big purchase. There may be negotiations. There may be some toing and froing between it. And so understanding in those statements what is an offer versus something else can become really critical for big purchases. And that's what happened in Harvey and Facey. Now, to understand Harvey and Facey, we've got to go back in time to when there wasn't an internet, there were no mobile phones. In fact, there weren't phones. People used to communicate via the telegraph. If you know anything about the telegraph, you paid by the word. That's how valuable information was. Can you imagine that? You pay by the word. Okay. So because of that, people would write telegrams right, to be truncated. And that's what happened here. Uh, and it led to a bit of a problem. Let's have a look at the case and the problem and what the law says. So this involved the sale of a particular estate. The estate had a name, like the English used to name their houses, particularly their big ones. And this one was called uh, Bumper Hall Pen. Don't ask me why, I don't really know, but that was the name, Bumper Hall Pen. And what happened was Harvey right, sent a telegram, will you sell Bumper Hall Pen to us? Telegraph, lowest cash price. Okay. Facey, telegraph back. Lowest price for bumper hall pen, 900 pound. Harvey then said, essentially, we accept the offer to sell. Facey refuses to sell to H. Okay, so the question then becomes, do we have agreement? Because obviously Facey doesn't think so, but Harvey does and wants the property for this 900 pounds. The question, the legal question, is, is this an offer to sell? Because it is, acceptance occurs here and we have a contract. If it isn't, then we don't have a contract. Then even though this says acceptance, if this is not an offer, like if, if this is not an offer, this our lowest price for £900 is not an offer, then Harvey's statement is actually an offer to buy, which Facey rejects. Okay, so it's critical to understand. Is this statement by Facey, lowest price for um, bumper hall pen, £900, is that an offer? Is that an offer or is it something else? And the court said it's actually something else. It's actually a response to a request for information. So Harvey says telegraph lowest cash price. That's a request for information, which Facey responds to. It's not an offer. So responding to a request for information is not making an offer. Invitation to treat is not making an offer. We've worked out what an offer is. What an offer is not, in particular, an offer is not an invitation to treat. An offer is not a response uh, to a request for information. That's not an offer. Uh, the other final thing that we might touch on is who can you make an offer to? Right. Well, most times an offer is made to an individual. Will you go and buy me a cup of coffee and I'll pay you 10 bucks and you can buy the coffee out of that so you can make some money, right? I offer you that. I can make an offer to a group. And I could say, uh, if anyone taking BSB 151 this semester brings me a cup of coffee, I'll pay them 10 bucks. Right? That would be an offer to the group. I could also make an offer to the world at large, to everyone. I could say offer 
anyone who brings me a coffee, right? Um, I'll pay them ten dollars. Now, most of the time, we don't make offers to the world at large. Why? Because I could have a hundred people bring me a coffee, and I don't want a hundred coffees, and I don't want to have to pay a thousand dollars. Same reason that often we don't have contracts with large groups, etc. But we can do it. You can make an offer to an individual, to a group, to the world at large. In fact, there are certain kinds of offers that are、uh, do have these attributes. So, for instance, a reward is an offer to the world at large. It's a contract.、Right? Find my lost dog. I'll pay you five hundred dollars. Right. Anyone who brings a dog back, it becomes a contract. Anyone who brings a dog back, you give them five hundred dollars. Anyone in the world, that's an offer to the world at large, right? And it works because there's only one dog that's yours, so only one person can do it. Okay, so certain kinds of things, offers to the world at large work. But remember, you don't have to make an offer to a specific person. Okay, so that gives us an idea about offers. But when do offers end? That's what we're gonna look at in the next video.